Hello there. You are welcome to the second part um, of our biology lesson, classification of living things. And today we'll be looking at the kingdoms. We'll be looking. Now, the objectives of this lesson is to uh, help learners to describe the taxonomic hierarchies, state the basis for classifying organisms into kingdoms, describe the various kingdoms, giving examples, give a comparison of the various kingdoms. Now, moving along, we'll be looking at the taxonomic hierarchy of classification of living organisms. Now, taxonomic hierarchy is the process of arranging various organisms into successive levels of the biological classification, either in a decreasing or an increasing order from kingdom to species and vice versa. Each of these levels of the hierarchy is called the taxonomic rank or category. In this system of classification, kingdom is always ranked the highest, followed by division, class, order, family, genus, and species. So you need to be able to give the particular order either in ascending or descending order. Now the kingdom is the highest level of classification which is divided into subgroups at various levels. There are five kingdoms in which the living organisms are classified. Uh, in, some, in some particular textbooks you have a um, six kingdom classification but for today's lesson we'll be emphasizing on the, on the five kingdom classification which are namely Animalia, Plantae, Fungi, Protista and Monera. So you can see them right here. You have Kingdom Archaea, Kingdom Bacteria. These are the six kingdom classification that I was talking about that in some textbooks you have the six kingdom classification which are Archaea, Bacteria. These Archaea and Bacteria in the five kingdom classification are together called Monera. While we have the Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae, which consists of the plants, and Kingdom Animalia, which consists of now Kingdom Monera. We are starting with Kingdom Monera. Now, Monerans are single celled, motor or non motor organisms. Motor means they move, non motor means they don't move. So they are either um, organisms that move or don't move. They are generally microscopic in nature, they have no definite nucleus. They are therefore called prokaryotes, so they are prokaryotic organisms or prokaryotic cells. That is, chromosomes lie free in a particular part of the cell. Now, their reproduction is asexual in nature by binary fission. Examples are the cyanobacterium or the blue-green algae. So you can see, these are the, this is the cyan, uh, cyanobacteria here, and we have other kinds of bacteria and the archaea too, like I told you. Now moving along, we'll be looking at Kingdom Protista. What are the protists? Now, organisms in this kingdom are also single cell, but larger than the monerans. They can be motor or non-motor. In other words, some of them move, some of them don't have uh, um, structures that help them move. Their cell structures are complex and organized. They have definite nucleus, that is their nucleus is bounded by nuclear membrane. They are therefore made up of eukaryotic cells. In other words, their cells are eukaryotic in nature. Now, most proteins live in water and they have the ability to move about. Examples are amoeba, as you can see. You have amoeba here. Another one is Chlamydomonas, Euglena. This is Euglena. We have the Paramecium. This is Paramecium, and so on. The proteins are divided into protophy Protophyta and Protozoa. Protozoa are animal like. Protists. They are animal-like in nature because they feed on already manufactured food and they have no cellulose cell wall. Examples are amoeba and paramecium. Amoeba and paramecium are animal-like in nature. While protophyta are plant-like, example is the chlamydomonas. Some proteins share the features of both protophyta and protozoa. Example, euglena. In other words, euglena share both animal and plant-like what qualities. Other ones we have here is slime mold, we have diatoms, we have macroalga, we have dinoflagellates, we have paramecium, we have amoeba. These are examples of protist or protista. Now moving on, we are going into kingdom fungi. Now fungi are mainly non-motor organisms, in other words they don't move. They are simple multicellular organisms with the exception of yeast. Yeast is unicellular. They do not have, they generally do not have chlorophyll, therefore they cannot manufacture their food. They are mostly saprophytes and important 
decomposers. The decomposer fungi are found growing on logs, dead leaves, fruits, bread, and leather. Some of them are parasitic in nature, in other words, they are parasites, and they are responsible for many diseases of plants and animals. Examples of fungi are mushroom, mold, yeast, mocha, toast to pot ball. Now you have examples right here. We have the puff ball, sorry, puff ball, not pot ball, puff ball. We have vermilion tinder box, we have rounded head star, we have fly agaric, we have on of plenty, and so on. We have many um, types of fungi, as you can see. Now we are moving on to Kingdom Plantae. In another video, we'll be looking at Kingdom Plantae in greater detail. Now, plants are multicellular, that is, they are made up of many cells. They are non motor in nature, in other words, they don't move around and contain chlorophyll, which enables them to manufacture their own food through photosynthesis. In other words, uh, they are autotrophs. Autotrophs are the ones that produce their own food. All green plants belong to this kingdom. Now, under the plant kingdom, we have the mosses and the liverworts, we have the ferns, we have the gymnosperms and the angiosperms. These are the various divisions in the plant. Now, finally, we'll be looking at the last member of the king, uh, or, um, in the last member of the five kingdoms, which is Kingdom Animalia. Now, animals are motor organisms. In other words, they are organisms that move around. Their cells have no cellular cell wall. They cannot manufacture their food. In other words, they are heterotrophic in nature. They are broadly divided into two, which are invertebrates, those with backbone, and vertebrates, those without backbone. So as you can see in this picture right here, we have the vertebrates, those with um, those with backbone, and we have warm-blooded and cold-blooded animals. So the birds and mammals are warm-blooded, while the fish, reptiles, and amphibians are cold-blooded. Now, under the invertebrates, um, animals without backbone, we have the porifera, we have the cynidaria, we have the anelida, we have the mollusca, echinodermata, atropoda, platyhel mintis. Under the atropoda, we have the crustacea, arachnidas, we have an um, insect, and we have the myriopoda. In another video, we will be discussing in detail kingdom animalia and their uh, divisions, sorry, and their um, phylum. I'm talking about that in detail. Now, we'll be looking at uh, the comparison of the um, of Whitaker's um, taxonomy, you see, um, we have right here starting with the five kingdoms. Right here, we have the Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. This gives us a uh, a summary description of these various um, kingdoms, uh, given their types, mode of nutrition, their body, and their example. Under Monera, we have the uni uh, they are unicellular and they are prokaryotes. Their mode of nutrition, they are either autotrophic or heterotrophic. Looking at their body structure, they, la they lack well-defined nucleus and cell organelles. An example of monerans, we have the bacteria and the blue-green algae. If you look at the protista here, they, they are unicellular and eukaryotic in nature. Their mode of nutrition is either autotrophic or heterotrophic. Some organisms use pseudopodia or cilia or flagella for movement. We are looking at their body structure. And examples under Protista, we have Amoeba, Paramecium, and Euglena. Fungi, they are multicellular, non-green eukaryotic cells. So they are saprophytic or parasitic in nature. That's their mode of nutrition. And they are sometimes symbiotic. Fung fungus is made up of long filaments called hyphae. The network of hyphae is called mycelium. An example under Kingdom Fungi, we have yeast, rhizopods, mushrooms, and mold. Under plantae, they are multicellular eukaryotic. They are majorly autotrophic in nature. They exhibit high level of tissue differentiation and have specialized body organs. Under plantae, we have trees, plants, and shrubs. Under animalia, animals are multicellular and eukaryotic in nature. They are heterotrophic. Uh, when it comes to their mode of nutrition, they exhibit high level of tissue differentiation and have specialized body organs. They have well-developed nervous system. This is the description of their bodies. An example, we have fish, insects, animals, humans, and birds. Now, in the case of this particular one that we have here, we have their domain. We have um, the six kingdom classification, Eubacteria, Archaea, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Emilia. Yes, we have their description based on their cell types, cell structure, 
number of cells that make up the organism you can see right here bacteria is unicellular archaea is unicellular when it comes to protista they are mostly unicellular some are multicellular fungi are mostly multicellular except for yeast that is unicellular plants are generally multicellular animals are multicellular now you can see their mode of nutrition and examples on that now with this we've come to the end of our lesson for today now let's look at let's take a quick look at the summary taxonomic hierarchy is the process of arranging various organisms into successive levels of biological classification either in a decreasing or in an increasing order from kingdom to species or and from species to kingdom in this system of classification kingdom always ranks the highest followed by division class order family genus and species in some other taxonomic hierarchy we have the domain uh, which is the highest ranked uh, in the classification system now in the five kingdom classification uh, in which living organisms are classified we have namely animalia plantae fungi protista and monera whereas under the six kingdom classification the monera is split into archaea and, and bacteria uh, and new bacteria so before we go i want to pause this video and attempt to answer the question in, in this assessment to know how much of the lessons that you have imbibed and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel i'll see you again in the next lesson